Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, March 23rd, 2021. Having to do this from remote one more time because of a bunch of meetings. Ah, I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Sundays are full moon here at the end of the month. Remember, all the way back to Halloween, we've had full moons at the end of the month. It's going to take a while for the pattern to drift around through the calendar because we just had February. So, full moon rising near sunset and rising uh, setting at sunrise. Looking at drought, we are finally seeing some significant improvement. Take a look at the plains. Take a look at the northern I-25 corridor where all that water fell and a lot of the snow is still melting and soaking in from last week to this week. We have seen many regions drop a category or two in drought severity. Still need stuff on the western slopes, but uh, eventually that stuff will melt there, and we've had a good stream of moisture. I think we're still around 90% snowpack at this point. So on this side, I think we've now exceeded 100% by a good amount. Looking nationally, not much different except right in this area, northeast Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska area, and you can see Kansas. Uh, really getting some good moisture. Long-term drought is uh, lessened right through the center here. So how much snow did we get in our little storm earlier this week? So up to Monday morning, about one and a half to two and a half inches of snow around Longmont. We had two and a half up to four, almost five inches in a few spots around Boulder, which is, that's back to the normal pattern. Moisture wise, half inch to an inch in the light greens, darker greens go one inch to two inches. So a lot of the area here did get some rain with that snow. There's uh, over two inches of moisture west of Fort Collins. So fantastic there for uh, hopefully our next fire season. We don't get a fire season. That'd be really great. For Wednesday noon, what we have overall is this big trough in the west and a ridge in the east with troughs traveling through every now and then. This is the Tuesday night energy, it was Wednesday morning, kind of passing south, southwest of the state. And so looking at the future surface map, you can see for Wednesday noon, uh, snow hitting New Mexico, northeast Arizona, four corners, southern Colorado, and the central mountains more than us, which is fine, we have, we have plenty right now. Looking at Friday, the overall troughiness in the west, ridginess in the east continues with another trough coming down to bring in some more rain showers, I'd say, in the lower elevations and snow just because it's getting warmer. So let's take a look at that warmth. Our low normal is going from 29 to 31. I think next week we should see the normal low temperature hit or exceed freezing. Our normal high goes from 57 to Practically 60 now. Normal high should be 60. So we're in spring. I mean, we've passed uh, astronomical spring on the 20th. We have meteorological spring on the 1st. And now temperatures are definitely expected to be spring light. They're kind of on the cool side in the beginning. And then we get right in the middle of normal through the weekend and into next week. We do have a Late Tuesday night, Wednesday, chance of uh, snow and rain here. We have a Friday chance of precipitation into Saturday morning, and then something midweek next week. Putting this into motion, you can see the first low moving through. This is our Wednesday storm into Thursday moving away. Here comes another trough digging down to the west for Friday into Saturday. It's kind of energy is kind of broken up into a couple regions. Then we got a ridge coming through, giving us a nice warm weekend, beginning of the week. Then about Tuesday, it was Tuesday noon, it was Wednesday, another trough comes in next week. So just what the uh, ensemble showed, this is the same model showing you the pattern. Okay, and temperatures. Nothing abnormally cold as we saw in the ensemble. Some really cold weather south of us, but the west stays chilly through the weekend. We move into the weekend and we start to see some warmth really coming into the Pacific Northwest, spreading across the west for Sunday and Monday. It's going to be really beautiful. 
this is going to be nice. And there's our cold front coming in for Tuesday and the Wednesday next week. Let's take a look at the precipitation. Not as organized as some of our previous storms. Here's the Tuesday Wednesday storm hitting south of us. Skipping northeast Colorado. Here's the Friday storm. A little better organization than the moment. Then we travel through a very dry, high pressure dominated weekend into the beginning of next week. And the midweek storm starts to head down this way. And it looks like a really nice short period of upslope snow. So we'll keep an eye on that for next week. So up to Thursday p.m., we get a trace out here in the plains, maybe one to two inches of snow. Uh, by the time things wrap up on Wednesday, southwest of Denver again gets it better. The southern mountains should not be the time to try to drive uh, down to Albuquerque uh, during the Wednesday system. Over the next 10 days, we don't add much. A little more snow in the foothills, but again, it's because temperatures are warmer that uh, snow on the plains probably won't be as much of a thing. So what does that look like? 40s going into the 50s, and then Sunday, oh my goodness, and then Monday we see 70 show up. Oh wow, it's going to be great. <clears throat> we have a little bit of rain shower chances on Friday, maybe snow overnight. And then Tuesday, 48 and 28, we have daytime rain, nighttime snow. It's getting harder to get big snows with that cold. For frequent weather updates and lots of local news, check out Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.